Hey guys, this is Darren Benton again with Performance Motor Coaches. We are back in Texas. Don't even know today. Today is a Monday. I can tell you that. The last video we did at the factory, I guess, was Thursday. So we got this dude back over the weekend. Got it all cleaned up. Going to do a quick video of it tonight, and we'll be back in Indiana tomorrow morning. So apologize for being a little smiled space cadet I'm a little tired been going 90 to nothing but glad you guys came in to watch the video this particular show hauler right here I'm very proud of probably the most proud of the interior of it uh, it's something I haven't ever done before in the way of brown tones I'm typically kind of a silver guy but love 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 the interior of course you know as far as exterior Western Star it really kind of stands out in its class of its own very unique look so this is a Western Star 5700 series this truck came out I believe about five years ago we've done a handful of these so very stout front end very tough truck-esque looking uh, truck uh, it is powered by the DD16 so the 15.6 liter Detroit diesel it is coupled to the DT12 the Detroit uh, 12 speed transmission so uh, unit runs I mean we ran on the wood the whole way home 78 miles an hour is the speed governor and you know whatever you could get going downhill uh, in Missouri so came home in a big hurry uh, unit drove, drove out great super hot outside dash air conditioner did great uh, unit did great out on the highway didn't spend any time really on the interior at all we just drove didn't stay in the coach but uh, super happy to show you guys the inside itself so uh, as pretty much all these chassis will have they'll have a single 120 gallon tank up here pretty easy to access right here and then a 13 gallon def tank we'll get in here and flip that guy back up Pretty easy access. All of these truck chassis will be, will be very easy to access. So you've got grab handles here, here, and then there as well. So easy to get in and out of all these trucks. Uh, very easy to see down the side of the coach. I typically do not put any kind of a side mirror on my stock coaches. This coach started as a stock coach. It has since been sold. It's going to go to its new owner on Friday of this week down to Houston. So. We'll kind of continue on. So basically, they, they call this the 36 KQSL. So essentially, a 36 foot box. The seat will be a little over 45 foot in length. Uh, pretty well equipped. There's a few things on the exterior we did not do that's our options. Apologize for some of the road noise. We tried to do it late as in the evening as possible, but lots of road noise out tonight. So this has the top swing baggage doors instead of the side swing baggage doors and it does have a side mounted awning. Other than that, it's pretty well decked. Uh, we'll check everything out inside. We'll run down these storage compartments really quick. So house batteries and chassis batteries are in place up there. Uh, electrical bay right next to it with the 3000 watt inverter. As far as the batteries, nothing wild and crazy. Just two, I'm sorry, four six volt golf cart batteries. Those can always be upgraded. Does have the Onan 12.5 uh, diesel there. Run the coach and plenty other things along with it. So there's a buddy plug on the back if you were a racer. Not a problem to be able to run the entire coach and another rig next to it. This is a bath and a half. So we did configure it with two grays and two blacks. So up front we have a gray and a black for the kitchen and the half bath and then back behind the axle. Um, oh, the... Uh, Washing machine will go will come up to the front gray and the shower will go to the rear gray back behind the axle. Did some side turn signal lights right here. It's pretty handy to have whenever cars hanging out next to you, won't get the heck out of your way. You light those things up at night and it lets them know you're headed on over. So uh, try to do those from here on. I'm gonna try to do that all the way across the board. That's pretty inexpensive. It definitely kind of helps things out. Uh, as you're making turns, it'll be like another point uh, for a light. Uh, it will work, serve as a clearance light driving up and down the road or whenever you turn your turn signal on, it'll light up. It does have the side uh, marker lights right there. Uh, those are basically like a spotlight to turn on so if you're going through a parking lot at night or cruising around uh, it makes it a little bit easier to see out right there we'll come rearwards of the axle here 
So big storage up front and then another wet bay right there. Simple, simple wet bay, nothing wild and crazy, very easy to use. Connect your garden hose there to the right hand side and you can fill your tanks uh, or you can use city pressure there. It does have heated waste tanks. Showhaul is one of the few manufacturers that they keep all their water lines and all the uh, waste lines up on top of the floor and they dump straight into the tanks versus having to run anything down underneath the floor or through the floor itself. So we come around back, full fiberglass cap here. Just kind of just kind of finishes out the coach a little bit. So if you do a white coach right there, uh, the rear cap will come in fiberglass and a white fiberglass. There's, there's no need to paint this. Uh, these units can be painted after the fact. Typically, once they're sealed up, you can't take them into a paint shop for about six to eight months just because all that silicone degasses makes it a really difficult process to paint this guy after the fact until all that silicone kind of finishes degassing. So 40,000 pound hitch right here. This assembly right here is rated at 30,000 pounds. Uh, if you're going to pull anything bigger than a 30,000 pound trailer, you'd need to change out this assembly right here to like a small mini fifth wheel. Right next door is that 50 amp buddy plug and then the standard uh, trailer plug right there. These things can be equipped all kinds of different ways. Uh, you could do like a specialty twist lock plug right there if you were going to have a dedicated trailer on all the time. And the, uh, you can do a camera plug as well uh, back there. So we'll do a camera up top there. We have some more security lights up top. They can be activated on the dash or they can be activated through the Firefly or on the switch right next to your entry door as well. Come along here. So one open bay right here and then that is the hydronic heater. So that is a o an Oasis. It's built by ITR. Another smaller company that builds the hydronic systems my favorite by far, best customer service out there. Uh, make it pretty simple system. Uh, there's a lot of fail safes with that as well. If you were to freeze that system, uh, there's a simple heat exchanger in there that can be replaced. It's about 600 bucks for the heat exchanger versus uh, spending, you know, the, the Aquat systems, if you freeze those, you generally have to replace the entire unit or have it rewrapped. 50,000 BTU does have uh, dual zone. We split the zones and so you'll have three thermostats and three total zones there and we'll share one of the zones for that middle. All the slides are in and we'll kind of show you how to, you know, what the coach looks like with it all closed up. But like I said, it is sold. Kind of a signature deal that I like to do. So magic right there so you can uh, you know, if you had something you know, like some golf clubs, probably, you know, if you had uh, maybe like a small, uh, you know, snowboard or something like that, uh, you couldn't do anything particularly long, but you could configure this coach. This coach if you said, you know, I've got something really long, we could combine all three of these compartments right here. Not a problem to do that. It does have the outdoor TV. So pretty much across the board, what you'll see from here on out are 43 inch QLED Samsung Smart TVs. Let's see if this one, bingo, it is. 43 inch TV, sound bar right there that has all the Bluetooth capabilities. No FM or AM, but nowadays you have apps to be able to use uh, radio stations and such. So stick that guy back in there. And then a little single storage right here. Pretty good size, and so any of these you could configure with an outdoor fridge, not a problem to be able to add one of those after the fact. So we'll come inside, nice ultra wide entry door. It's a simple side mounted awning. See this really nice tiled entryway here. So I am a little over, we'll wait for the camera to come in, apologize. I'm a little over six foot tall, 200, 220, depending upon how much I've eaten for the week or the day. Plenty of room to walk through here. So you can walk through here, get to your hydronic heater right there, get underneath here, get your refrigerator, come back here to the half bath. And we'll do this, just me plopping down 
So a fair amount of room here. I don't be running into any walls or anything like that. So a ton of room here. And if you'll back up a little bit, I'll do the honors of the bunk bed. So man-sized bunk beds right here. So six foot, I've got a few inches. Actually, I can barely touch my toes and I can put my fist between my head. So a fair amount of room in either bunk bed top and bottom. Storage all the way around. Of course, once you get back here is when it tightens up a little bit. So if you want to back up a little bit and pause. Okay, so now we have the slides out. Definitely more floor room. Uh, we will go ahead and kind of head into the colors on this. Like I said, really happy with uh, just something a little bit, a little bit different than what I've typically done in the past itself. So on the upper walls, we have a cashmere, which is a relatively uh, light off tan. As far as the wood, it's all uh, maple and it is a Kona stain. So it's kind of like a like a rich uh, chocolatey. Uh, stain color and then we did uh, ultra leather and bridal so pretty happy with everything uh, the ceramic tile floors they are heated uh, they match the Corian relatively close uh, the we did we went ahead and did the Corian I wanted to experience some more Corian I typically have always done granite and I've been doing some more quartz I wanted to try to find uh, a, some Corian that matched the quartz relatively close that I didn't feel like was the drab Corian of 20 year old motorhomes and so I was really happy with the way this turned out change the edging up a little bit uh, instead of that you know that fluted edge you would see in the past just a little bit more modern look right there so the of course you know we when this coach got turned into an order uh, this we were pretty heavy Corona wasn't sure what was going to go come down the pipeline. Wasn't sure how long it was going to stay in stock. So I wanted something. I'm going to try something different and something that uh, may be attracted to you know some of the more Western people at, or uh, you know basically cowboy rig for uh, you know we get cutting horse guys, we get some rodeo guys. Uh, most of those guys don't prefer the grays, that more modern, more, more modern uh, tones. So I wanted to kind of change it up and definitely I, I, I'm going to do this one. Again, because I'm happy with everything here. There's nothing I would change as far as the colors, the floor, uh, the countertops. There's basically nothing I would change. So really happy with everything. Uh, this does have the upgraded villa furniture. Uh, did not spec it with theater seats. A person could change it after the fact. Uh, they are pretty expensive as far as a, like a furniture option, but far better than anything you'll see out on the market. Uh, typically, if you're looking at diesel pushers, this villa furniture will be in the ultra highline coaches, so the $600,000 plus, all the way up to like the million plus dollar. Uh, so you know, the villa furniture is a very uh, is a is an upgraded furniture. They do a great job, very comfortable. Uh, some of the RV furniture, uh, even in some of the other brands that we carry, are just not comfortable. You sit down on these and ultra comfortable. Uh, wouldn't have anything else in my own particular rig, so. We'll roll up here to the cab area. Uh, the Western Star is a little bit shorter cab, and uh, so the cab opening itself is obviously a little bit smaller. Now, going up top itself, we have a little bit larger bunk over because the cab itself is shorter. So it makes it a little bit easier. You know, if you're a, if you're a bigger person to be able to get up in the bunk, we recessed the TV back there a little bit, did another 43 right there. If you did a Cascadia, you actually have to hang the TV outwards here. So the next coach that we've got coming that's like this on a Cascadia, this will be brought all the way out. Uh, I think this is a 54 inch bunk over, did a cabinet back there. Um, so basically kind of sleeping for one, be difficult to have two people up in that, but uh, nice little layout right there. Uh, we get everything underneath the sun. You know, we, we've had people buy these that have had drivers, and so if you had a driver, it'd be a nice little isolated area right there to kind of have a little bit more privacy. A little roller shade right here, and then of course all the windows have roller shades as well. You'll have a screen, and then you will have a blackout. And Show Waller does offer a few color selections. I typically do black. Uh, one for fingerprints, and two just whenever I want it dark in here, I want it ultra, ultra dark. So lots of cabinetry. Uh, we did a little bit uh, different window. We just did 
two windows on this side, one window on this side. Uh, we brought the windows up all the way to the bottom of the cabinets, so just to be able to see as much as possible. Now it is an option to delete some of these overhead cabinets and do even larger windows. I just thought for a coach that was a bunk bed unit that sleep this many people, you need as much cabinet space as possible. Even if you're you need to roll up clothes and sticking them uh, in those cabinets right there. So I thought it was much more important to have cabinets than bring these windows all the way up there. But that is an option itself. Entertainment right here. So everything will come standard with a uh, Sony surround sound. You'll have ceiling speakers and then you'll have a powered subwoofer typically uh, back behind the dinette itself. So we'll roll through here the kitchen. Do it pretty quick. Signature pull out couch or not couch <laughs> a pull out trash can I've done for eons uh, to me kind of no-brainer there all the drawers themselves are all dovetail construction and they're all soft clothes as well when I did a little pull out right here so if you want to cut your vegetables uh, you know maybe lemons or limes um, I don't know that if I would cut on this in my own coach but at least it's there I guess you can set a plastic piece down and do your cutting there so residential refrigerator right here, uh, typically we always do the Samsung. So open it up, no one's seen the inside of a refrigerator before. But So this is just an 18 cubic foot right here. You can do the 18 or the 20 cubic foot. The only difference is counter depth versus standard depth. Kind of depends upon what the floor plan is. We went ahead and did a stacked washer dryer right here. So this, you know, there's a lot of stuff in this coach. So basically it's a bath and a half with opposing seating and a full washer dryer there. Plenty of storage all the way here. We have some storage, well, the big giant pantry. So huge pantry right there. Uh, this could be changed up or, you know, if you're like, hey, Darren, I, I, don't, I don't need a pantry. I want more hanging. So this could be reconfigured and just done for a large hanging closet as well. Because so back here we did the, uh, it's what I call a combo slide. So es essentially it's bunk beds and the closet slide. If you wanted to isolate this, then this slide right here would go full depth. Um, you would see this trim right here basically go all the way against the wall. And then that gets a little bit deeper. Your closet slide gets a little bit deeper. The downfall to that, whenever you separate them, you have more trim and then this guy gets about half size. So it is an option. Uh, we have done some other floor plans where we took um, this and kind of made it a little bit tighter, did like a small wall to be able to isolate this completely. I personally like the openness of this. Uh, I kind of feel like, well, you know, put your kids down, go back to bed or go outside. Uh, but it is an option to be able to isolate this bunk area right here. Uh, you can get these accordion type shades as well. I'm not a big fan of them. I think it looks a little bit tacky in a coach like this. And all the bunks They'll have USBs. Basically, anywhere you sit, I don't know if you can catch that in there. Anywhere you sit, anywhere you sleep, I try to design it where you have a USB right in the center of your 110 because typically at this day and age, you're just charging things. We, we already kind of went through the half bath there. Starting about, I guess it was probably about, oh, about a year, year and a half ago, we were able to shore up the bed base a little bit, uh, move the hydronic heaters in other areas and shore up the bed a little bit. So you'll see a lot more room here. The older coaches, the bed base used to come up about right here, and that made a big difference. When you walk in here and have to start walking around things, so super happy uh, that you know they were able to kind of re-engineer things to be able to have the bed base the bed base actually stays in the place, and then the upper portion of the bed is what moves, and that's pretty much standard all the way across the board on any truck chassis conversion, and the water tanks, boom, are below that. Uh, a lot of diesel pushers will run the storage, fold up, that's not the case here. So a little bit larger closet right here. We just did a 32 inch TV right here. You could take and do a 43. Just keep in mind, whenever you do that, you're, you're, each closet's gonna have to get a little bit uh, narrow. This does flip up right here. So a good spot, you know, like if you need to put a gun safe or something like that, or just be able to hide. Most people walk in here and wouldn't know that that thing flips up. So cabinetry below, uh, I mean, this, uh, you know, Show Hauler does all the cabinetry in house. Just a phenomenal job. Uh, never disappointed with any of their cabinets. Everything is very stout, very robust. 
So these drawers right here have a little bit less depth to them. When you do the deeper slide, uh, then you'll get a bit more depth out of those as well. Come back here to rear bath. I'm going to open this so we don't have to catch the... I, fear, I guess you're at a proper angle. So I'll plop down here. There again, a ton of room. A uh, lot of options back in this rear uh, bath area. You can do down to a 36, which to me is really, really tight. Well, I think we've done up to a 49 inch. I think this one right here is sitting right at 41 inches. So there's a few different things to potentially do. It all depends upon what you're gonna, you know, what you're gonna move up front. I really like doing this guy right here because I've got an extra storage right there. And then whenever mama comes back here, she has plenty of room. If you built this unit with uh, without this cabinet right here, yeah, you can get into it. Uh, you know, it gives you a little bit more room, but I just think that that additional counter space makes a big, big difference. Additionally, if you catch me right down here, even though you have a single door right here, this goes all the way back. So you could put a lot of extra things there that you might not use too much. You might have to get down your hands and knees to get to, to get in there and, and get it pulled out. Uh, but it is a pretty nice addition. Just some lights below there. So a ton of storage right there. I'll jump back and let you get that. We just did a regular flushing toilet back here, not the Tecma, just kind of simplicity in mind. I'll do my signature jump in the shower. Oddly enough, started doing this thing, I guess probably about, oh, about a year and a half, two years ago, pretty much all the way across the board, you'll see almost everybody jumping on the bandwagon doing this. To me, it just kind of makes sense whether, whether you're elderly or whether uh, you know, you're shaving your legs. Uh, I mean, that's that was kind of the number one thing for me was if you can keep mama happy by giving her little things, uh, that definitely changes RVing a little bit. So it's difficult to see, but there are two actual shower insets here. Um, you know, whenever you're looking at a build sheet, you'll see them as the uh, shower niches. And so that's just dual inset there again. More shampoo, more conditioner, more soap. Uh, definitely makes a difference there. Up top here, you will see no skylight, which to me is no brainer. We delivered a 2017 news unit the other day that had skylights in each bath, and it was only 90 degrees, and it was crazy how hot the bathrooms were. Uh, it was super, super hot. Um, you know, we left out of here, take it, take it to the airport to meet the guy, and the coach got insanely hot in almost little to no time, and it was everything was basically coming out of the bathroom. So. Big fan of eliminating those, eliminate the potential leaks, eliminate that heat source inside. So we'll do just a regular standard uh, Max Air fan in each bathroom, and then we'll have one in the kitchen as well. So we'll cruise back up here. So ev everywhere you see these little pads right here, that's basically a light pad. Uh, some of those will have um, you know, some, some exterior lights, some of them will have a generator start switch integrated, some of them will have a water pump switch as well. At the head of the bed right here, to me this is pretty much genius. So at the head of the bed underneath here, you can do master lights on and off, you can do uh, your generator on and off without having to look over here at night. So if you can just look up for it at night, you can turn all that stuff on and off. We have some more USB plugs. Then we went ahead and put some shelves up here, be able to pop your phone up here. We didn't do 110 plugs in there. There again, just another thing to potentially break. So you got your 110 USBs there, but you still have enough room to be able to pop your cell phone up there or even on top of the, uh, the window shade there. So a ton of room, like I said, you know, you walk through, this does have the Firefly operating system. We've done a ton of videos about those, uh, pretty easy. Easy to use. You have master light switches inside and out. Uh, lots of redundancy. Be able to turn your inverter on and off. Be able to turn your, turn your uh, generator on as well. This guy right here is one of the heated tile floors. There's one in the bedroom and one back there. And there are three, three thermostats all the way through and through. So kind of catch the ceiling here. Pretty simple thing that was came out about a year ago. Uh, rather than having to look at those ugly plastic pieces, just 
pretty simple wood pieces that are screwed in the ceiling. So you can pop these things downwards to be able to service the, your air conditioner filters. But to me, it was just kind of no brainer. Uh, just it kind of cleans up the look of the ceiling without having to do the fluted pieces with all the infinity lights like you're like you're inside of a conversion van from the 1990s. So super happy with that. I just really I can't can't stress how happy I am with all the colors, um, you know, show hauler. Uh, definitely, uh, they did a phenomenal job, uh, you know, constructing the, the unit. I tell you, it's pretty amazing to get units that come out of RV land that are almost perfect. You know, we we sell an array of everything here, and a lot of this stuff is mass produced, and people just simply don't understand that whenever you're building a 20 or 30 or 40 units a day, there's there's just not enough people to touch the unit to give the unit love throughout the process. Uh, show hauler generally takes, you know, right now show hauler is almost, they're, they're over a year and a half out for production. Uh, and it's because they don't speed up. They don't take, you know, they don't skip uh, steps. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna do it their way and they've done a phenomenal job you know they weathered all the financial storm of 2008 they've done really really well uh, they're a very small company easy to deal with you can basically you know call the owner and then if you call them and say hey you know my lights not working or hey I need this latch or whatever you know Chad great guy he will basically do anything for you and you don't see that in the RV industry you don't see units that you just pick up and put water in it and put fuel in it and maybe do a little bit of light cleaning and get out and use them it's just that's pretty much unheard of in the RV industry so super happy I think we're celebrating our sixth year with show hauler uh, happy to have the product for anybody that wants to go up to the factory and check things out we will be there almost it seems like non-stop we were there Last week, uh, we were there, I guess a few weeks before, we'll be up there the following week, so we'll be up there a ton. Don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, as things get really crazy, uh, it's sometimes difficult to get in touch with me there at the store, but just call the store, and then worst case scenario, get my email, which is Darren at PerformanceMotorCoaches.com. Coaches is ES, don't forget ES. So you can always send me an email, Darren at Performance Motor Coaches. Just say, hey, when are you going to be up there? We want to come do a tour. We want to come drive one or whatever. If I'm up there and you guys want to come for a tour, I'll be happy to show you guys around. If you want to drive something, if I've got something in the pipeline, I'll be happy to meet you guys there, let you drive it, let you kind of experience. Uh, going to the factory is like nothing else. Uh, you know, you could go to any dealer if you could find a dealer that has a ton of units on the ground, which probably never happened. Uh, going to the factory just does not compare. So make sure you guys uh, hit me up if you want to come out. Uh, if you have any more questions, the this, I said this coach is sold, so don't ask about buying this coach because you can't do it. But uh, make sure you guys keep on coming back. We appreciate you guys always coming and looking at our videos. We always seem to do them late. We always seem to be a little bit tired, but I appreciate you guys always kind of sticking with us. Uh, appreciate the enthusiasm. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks.